this year, and uh, she's going to do a wonderful job. She works with Lyndall Cooley, and we love her at Brownsville. All of our bands stand up. I think Cheryl will probably introduce you to these at a, a later moment, but uh, these are treasures at Brownsville. They're hardworking, and uh, they're just gifts, and they don't want any glory. They're just they're gifts. So let's just enter in and see what God has for us. Bless you. Uh, that is one person I would have never forgot. I don't know. I'm over 40. Burl, she, she's my friend. I would have never done that. What can I do to get on your good graces? What? She wants to paint. Oh, paint your toenails? Oh, my. <laughs> I'll wash her feet. What can I say about chocolate milk? <laughs> we've all been talking and we've decided that when women make time in their schedule to do something extra, they're hungry and they're not, they're gonna get their money's worth, right? <laughs> So I just have to ask you a question. First of all, are you hungry? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Next question, do you mind if we just have fun? Okay, let's do it.
Jesus, Jesus, you're worthy. Some of you might ask what, is, what the fuss is about when we say lift your voices to the Lord. That's foreign to some people. And you say, well, why on earth do we have to shout? Or why on earth do we have to make all the noise? What is about the shout? It seems so ridiculous. Well, ask the walls of Jericho about the shout. We love you, Jesus. Faithfulness, 
faithfulness Your mighty hand will deliver us You're my redeemer and you are my king All creation sings Give thanks to the Lord Revival fire. 
Jesus, we're going to just talk about you just for a minute. Because you know what happens when we start talking about Jesus? The atmosphere gets real clean and tidy. Things drop off all over you. Because see, in his presence, there is only joy. And in his presence, there is only peace. And in his presence, there is only freedom. In his presence, you are God of the heaven and God of the earth. You were God of our Savior's virgin birth. You were God on the cross and God over hell. You were God before man and still God when he fell. Oh, oh, oh. everyone you are God when we fall and God when we stand you are the God who holds us in the palm of your hand just to play a verse. of you who get uncomfortable when just the music is playing because just like we don't know how in the world the shout brought down the wall of Jericho we have only seen the negative effect of music in our culture but let me just tell you who was the God of the stringed instrument we are determined not to let the enemy take the sweet fruit of our Creator's hand when the guitar plays and when the drum is struck and when the keyboards play and when the singers sing there's more to it than meets the eye so do not despise the instrumentalists just because there are no words does not mean there is no effect oh, oh, oh. you are god in what seems like happenstance you're still my lord you are god in every circle 
to see you I want to see To see you to 
and sing it again.
To see you high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory, pour out your power and love as we sing.
an awesome presence of God here tonight. An awesome presence. And it's an honor for me to be a part of it. It's also an honor for me to get to take the transitional stage right now and introduce to you a woman who has demonstrated in my life a real relationship with this God we worship. My name is Sean Sloan, and I pastor a children's home in Phoenix, Arizona. I also attend Bible college, and a lot of times I get asked a lot of theological questions and need to have a lot of answers, and many times I will call on my parents, my father and my mother. And as funny as I study and learn about God, as I study theology, I always love talking to my mom because I sometimes ask her really difficult questions. And uh, the amazing thing is she always has the exactly right simple answer. Because you don't need to study about somebody when you know them. And if there's anyone who's witnessed, I believe, to be true and who's impacted my life, that's the witness of my mother, Diane Sloan. I introduce to you a woman of God, a friend of God, a woman who knows him. Would you welcome Diane Sloan? Love you. Thank you, Sean. I'm honored to have my oldest son as my helper this week. Uh, the speakers have an opportunity of bringing someone along with them to help, and I take various people at various times. I've taken my daughter-in-laws, and I've had my son, my youngest son, with me before. I have so, no idea. Hello, okay. Sean. He has a microphone on, people. There's no telling what we're going to hear. I have heard some pretty interesting stories about those microphones behind the scenes. At least I'm in the room. That's right. At least he's not in the bathroom, he said. That's right. My kids are as unpredictable as I am. So I called and said, I don't have any daughters to take to a woman's conference. Can I have bring what the Lord gave me? So uh, I just brought along my firstborn, and he's going to help me preach tonight if we get that far. We're looking at it. You've come here not by accident. You've come here not by happenstance. But you are here ordained of God to change your destiny. You are here to become something God knew all the while you could be, but you have never gotten there yet. You're going to leave this place with a new ability to move in God and a new ability to know His voice. You see, God is in the house tonight. There are a host of angels in this room tonight. Now you say, how do you know that? You don't think he's traveling alone, do you? If I brought an entourage, do you think Almighty God's showing up here by self tonight? He was escorted in by the heavenly host. When he drove up outside, you should have seen the fuss. I'm telling you, God is in this place. We're going to have meeting. You know what I mean? Hey, any place where the river runs north, you can expect anything to happen. Hallelujah! 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 Yes! 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 I speak to the elements.
elements and I say that the elements will obey the voice of God. When he says peace be still, they have the hush put on them. I'm telling you, when God decides to do something, he has an awesome way of accomplishing it. He stirs it up above, he stirs it up beneath, he stirs it up all around, he stirs it up inside. If you've been feeling a stirring going on tonight, it's because God is stirring it up. Amen? There's a lady sitting back here on a row. There's a woman on the end that has on a yellow shirt. And this lady is two persons over with a... I started to say, this is really definitive. I started to say she has on one of these greenish wristbands. But come to think of it. You, sweetheart, stand out in the aisle. The next one over, right there. You, stand out in the aisle. There's a lady on the back seat back here, way back in the back over here. Somebody tell her she's being called the blonde head back on the back. Come here and stand out in the aisle. You, in the red shirt on the back seat, right back there by the pillar, come on. See, you thought God didn't know you was here tonight, but he saw you come in. He made quite a fuss over you getting here. You see, some of you don't know, but God knows your name. He knows the true color of your hair. There's a lady in a pink dress right there with beads on. Yeah, you. Don't look to the right and the left. Get up. Get out in the middle of the aisle over here. Hurry up. God's in a hurry. Hallelujah. There's a lady in a burgundy color dress or wine, whatever you call it, a blonde right sitting back there. Get up and get out in this aisle right here very quickly. Now, in case you don't know it, there ought to be somebody already standing behind every one of these people if you really love them. You see, God just likes to sample folks. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, I've been drinking. <laughs> Hallelujah! And I'm the kind that don't know how to stop. See, if one drinks good, two's better. Some of you haven't had a move of God in your life in 16 years. And you're doing the same old thing you did for the last 16 years and wanting God to come up with something different. If you want something different, do something different. You want to hear the voice of God? Turn your ears the other way. The direction you had them, you ain't hearing anything. Turn around, turn around, turn around. God says, turn around. I want to speak to you tonight. See, none of us has the power to change our own destiny in our own life, but God can touch us in a heartbeat and turn it around. Don't you know if a plane can drop into the sea and change the life of young people, if a horse accident can change the life of an actor, if an accident in a swimming pool can change the life of a gospel singer, don't you understand that God in one moment of time can touch you and turn you around for the better? I'm just dabbling a little bit right now. Every one of you in the aisle, lift your hands. The power of God's going to fall on you right now. In the name of Jesus, I speak to that lady and I say, the Lord is calling you at your house. you got some situations going on with your relatives you don't know what you're going to do about, but God understands what to do. If you'll let God touch you tonight, he'll send you home a different woman and they'll be glad to send you to the next women's conference. In the name of Jesus, receive it. 
Just receive it. In the name of Jesus, receive it back there in the back aisle. Let the Holy Spirit fall upon you. Receive it in Jesus' name. Receive it in the middle aisle. Let the Holy Spirit fall up you on you right now. We're too used to being touched. Forget about getting touched. My arm ain't long enough. In the name of Jesus, the Holy Spirit goes down the aisle. Touch her in Jesus' name. Lift your hand, sweetheart. Raise your hand to heaven. Yes, Jesus. Touch her right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Just let it fall. Just let it fall. Some of you got something in the pew by where they're sitting. Because any time it don't go on to the person it's supposed to go on to, it bounces off. Did you know that? It's tangible. It's real. It don't just end up nowhere. When I'm praying for people, they don't take it. I get it back. That's why I'm so stinking drunk by the time church is over. (laughs) Praying for a bunch of hard heads. Now, all of you ain't, but some of you are. And you know it. Your husband's not told you. (laughs) Oh, glory. Woo, hallelujah. We're going to have a meeting. I want the lady in the red shirt to come down here real quick. Right there. Yeah, come down here, sweetheart. And see, she came in here late, and she got on that back pew back there, and she was so comfortable. She's, she's all fixed up. Come here. Come right here real close to me. You know what? Come up a little closer. You know, God saw you when you started out tonight. God knew what you was doing. God knows where you're coming from. And God knows what's about to happen in your life. God's going to transform you during this women's conference. You ain't going to recognize yourself the time you get home. Hallelujah. Just lift your hands. I want you just to start drinking. You know how you get drunk? You drink. Drink, 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 drink. Just let it come. Mm, let the Holy Spirit come on you. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Just let him come. Let him come. Well, I like that. Let God fill you up. <laughs> Can you believe I got that t-shirt up here? It says, let God fill you up. Now, I couldn't possibly see that from here. God's message, boys, are awesome. Well, tonight we're going to, we're going to have a meeting. enjoying being here. I like to be where God's at. Me and him are big buddies. I tell you what, I hope this music stands out. Hang up. sound effects. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Well, come on, Holy Spirit. 
Just touch your girls tonight, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I love to drink. I preach better when I'm drunk. Now, in case you don't know, I don't drink alcohol. I drink new wine. But new wine's better. New wine, better wine. It's good stuff. It don't have hangovers. Well, now, take that back. There is a hangover, but it's a different kind of a hangover. I have gone to bed drunk on new wine and got up drunk on new wine. That's an interesting night when that happens. I mean, I just be laying in the bed, you know, and the Holy Ghost to pick me up, shake me real good, and drop me back down. I'm like, whoa, where'd that come from? Or I'll just be sleeping away and my head will go. I'm like, what was that? Now I can tell some of you don't have a clue what I'm talking about. Well, you know, I don't feel anything. No, nothing but sad. Those kind of people are sad. They're so sad they make a hound dog look happy. I am planning on preaching. I just didn't want to start off that way. I just wanted to dabble around a little bit and see what God wants to do here. You know, there's no point in just, just coming in here and, and throwing it at you. We're trying to have a whole conference, not just one sermon somebody's going to preach. You know, we're a team here. I mean, maybe, maybe one of my sisters gets something from the Lord that wants to share. We don't need reputations. We had not got any. You know, can you believe you came out here to hear all these people? We're like, hallelujah, let's go have church. We just want Jesus. That's all we want. We're not interested in reputation. We want his presence. I speak for this whole group tonight. We just want the presence of Jesus. I know the heart cry of this conference tonight. I know the gut of this conference. I understand the passion of these conferences, and it's to know God. And if we don't know him, we don't have ability to transform anybody. But I'm telling you, he can take a moment of time and send you home a different direction you came in this place. You may have come in this place suffering from problems. You may have come in this place with post-abortion problems. You may have come into this place with divorce problems. You may have come into this place with unhappy children problems. You may have come into this place with unhappy in-law problems. You may have come into this place with toenail problems. Uh, you may have come into this place with heartache problems. Uh, I don't care what you came in with. It's what you go out with it's going to make the difference because God is going to take you from this place different than you walked in the door. Well, tonight I'm preaching on hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. We're going to evict the devil. So just in case you brought one that's wanting to stay around, you probably better take him out right now. Or he's going to be in trouble before this meeting's over. Somebody said, well, don't talk about demons. I get scared. Are they your master? What's your problem? I don't get scared when you talk about demons any more than I try to air condition hell. I ain't going there. I don't need an air conditioner in hell. And I ain't scared of demons. They aren't my master.
pastor? I got two angels for every one of them running around. And it only took one angel to take Lucifer himself and with chains in his hand to bind him up and cast him into the bottomless pit. I think two of my angels could probably handle one little demon. We got so many people, you know, they're like, oh, oh they're demon possessed. Oh, get them out of here. Bring them on. You got a demon, he's in the right place. We know how to talk to him. We got a name we use. A little formula, just a little formula. Jesus said, in my name, you shall cast out the devil. It's kind of like, bye-bye. Oh, yeah. Devil killing religion. Woo, 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 woo. This is the formula. I got some sermon notes here. I'm going to dig them out. I write them in big print these days. I got this pulpit because I was afraid I'd hang myself on the other one. One little trip, you know, and I've had it. <laughs> My chin's over the edge, and I'm up there. I done made religious people uncomfortable, because I hadn't read any scripture yet. <laughs> Just get rid of them right up front. <laughs> because, you see, God hates religion. Now, some people don't know anything about evicting the devil. But we're going to teach the technique tonight. So you want to get your Bible, and you want to get your pencil, and you want to get your paper, and you want to put most of it under the pew. going to have meat tonight. Numbers, the 33rd chapter and the 55th verse. But if ye will not drive out the inhabitants of the land from before you, then it shall come to pass that those which you let remain of them shall be bricks in your eyes and thorns in your side and shall vex you in the land wherein you dwell. See, Alexander Scorby don't know how to do it. You've got to have sound effects. The things you let stay behind that you're supposed to drive out become a constant irritation. And the hole you fail to fill up winds up being the one you fall in when you miss God. Ephesians 4.27 says, Neither give place to the devil. It's no wonder some people's devils stay around. They got them a room. They're very comfortable. They got carry out and everything, you know. They got a place at the table. They, not, not where your husband sits. Some of you, I saw your mind rolling. Yep, I bet that's right. If you want to evict the devil, though, so you've got to do it wholeheartedly. You can't half-heartedly get rid of the devil. Well, I sort of want him to go. I sort of want him to stay. Reminds me of an old guy that was in a big fight down at the tavern one night, and he's a little old bitty dude. And, and, he, and this big guy came in and said, I'll just fight you now. His son was a big guy, and he grabbed him, held him back, and he said, and, and, he, and he said, I'll 
just whip you. And the boy's hanging on to him, and he's singing to the boy. He said, turn me loose and let me at him. I'll just kill him. And, the, and, and then under his breath, he said, hold me tight, son, hold me tight. And then under, I'll turn me loose. I'll get him. I'll kill him. I'll wipe up the floor with him. Hold me tight, son, hold me tight. Some people don't know whether they won't be turned loose or held tight. When they get ready to get rid of the devil, they want to let some of him go, but they don't want to let all of him go. And the problem is, if you take a soft pedal toward the devil, he'll run over you. Anybody been run over? Any tar marks on your face? That's one clue. Tolerating little things, like little foxes, that the Bible says spoil the vines. Petting them a little. <laughs> Aren't they cute? I had some things around my house I thought was cute. I had some chipmunks that I thought were really cute. I'd drive up every day and watch them play for a while. I didn't realize they could get in your furniture and make a mess in your house and tear up stuff, you know. I just thought they were the cutest little things I ever did see. And somebody told me they got into their couch and just tore it up. Oh, it may look cute, and it may look, it may look like something interesting, but if it's of the devil, you better not pet it, and you better not laugh at it. I've had people who thought their kids was cute, you know. Little things they did when they was two. One or two, you know. Isn't that cute, slapping their mama and doing stuff, you know? I'm like, hey, it may be cute today. It ain't going to be cute when they're 14. You know, I never tolerate that kind of stuff because it gets big. Little devils grow up, you know. You can't tell white lies. And you can't watch shady stuff. And you can't involve yourself in careless conversation and expect to have good victory. Now, some people don't understand this, so I'm going to make it very clear tonight. How does the devil get in in the first place? How does he show up? Just a minute. Somebody there? Yes. Hello? Hello. Come on in. Just come on in. Who, are, who is it? Come on in. Hi. Mind if I come in? Oh, no. Come on. Just, I, I got to get my bag. Just a minute. Oh, just, well, come on. Oh, so you're going to stay a little bit, huh? Well, ju just for a little bit, if you don't mind. Is that all right? I just uh, didn't have anywhere to go. I just saw your door and thought it would be, you know, okay to come in. Is that all right? Well, I guess. I guess. Just have a seat. Oh, thank you. I'm thank talking you. to some people right now in, on telephone out here. <laughs> okay. I gotta, I'll, I'll be right with you, though. Sure, not a problem. Yeah, I'll, I'll just be I'll right just with you. make myself at home. No, don't do that. Just a little bit at a time, he makes his entrance. And you think he's just come in by himself. And you find out then that he's going to bring in an overnight case. You know how he gets in? You took a little offense. Somebody called and said something to you and you got hurt. And you know, you could have gotten rid of it immediately because you could have released them in forgiveness and prayed the Lord's precious blood over them and, and let them go and all that kind of stuff. But instead, you thought it felt pretty comfortable and comforting to know how sad you felt when you thought about them, so you just held on to it. So you walked off into the other room and began to nurse that thing, and the devil just walked in the door. And you know, then he went and got, well, I mean, he's taken over. Uh, what? Don't put the TV on that channel. We don't watch oh. that channel in our home. It's, it's not that bad. A lot of people watch this. It's really not that bad. In fact, I heard a preacher talk about it in a sermon. Oh, well, he isn't going to be here very long. We can handle this for a little bit, just a little bit of something. You know, it isn't going to be much. Just a little something. I like to be nice to people. I don't want to make anybody uncomfortable, including the devil, you know. I just want to make everybody just... Just, just at ease around my house. I just want to be the best house host you can get. What? What are you doing? Um, well, I had a couple more bags, if that's all right. I saw some space here. It's, I mean, it's just a few more, if that's all right with you. 
Well... They, they really don't take up any more space than your TV. Okay, okay, just, just, don't get... Oh, okay. Well, now, Conscience, just, just settle down, Conscience, just settle down. Just don't tell me. Uh, oh, just don't... What are you doing? Um, I had a few more things that they go with those. It's... What's in there? Oh, little white lie. Little thing. It's white a, lie. Oh, that, well, that's It a, protects you. Yes. You know, you wouldn't want to be embarrassed after all over something silly. Ah, that's right. I do need to tell a little white lie once in a while, so I better just let him bring that in because if I told the real truth it would really be humiliating to tell that lady I didn't really like that soup it was really terrible you know so you just kind of get busy going about your day and you just nurse that little wound and you think well you know I'll just have a few things and just a few things are coming and uh, sir uh, yes ma'am who are you uh, a friend I've met you, have I? You've uh, been. Uh, actually, once I was a uh, director of an orchestra of light. Oh, really? Wow. That's interesting. How did you do that? Well, by becoming one with the eternal, the eternal that's in you oh. and in the floor. it's starting to grow. You know what? Not only did she hurt my feelings, but I think her friends and her are talking about it. And they're getting together behind my back. And I think I'm not only offended at her, but I don't like anybody she likes. And you know, it's nice because they don't like me either. It's always easier to not like people that don't like you. You know. And so you just take little things. You just do little things. You watch just little programs. I want to tell you something. Recently, I've been watching some things on video, some spiritual services. And, and I've been, well, I've been doing that for quite a while. But I've been watching services and sermons and tapes and watching the Spirit of God. And about 30 minutes of it, I find out I'm drunk. Now, what really helped me with that was I never realized the impact those things were having on people. If you can get drunk watching good services on, on video, wonder what other people are getting drunk on. What's all that stuff you've been watching doing to you? You get intoxicated with the little things you let in. You begin to nurse little wounds. You begin to nurse little offenses. You begin to harbor little bitternesses in your heart. It doesn't seem like very much, just kind of like a kind friend, somebody going to be able to talk to, you know. A lot of times you take these things in because it gives you somebody to talk to, and when you don't have any offenses, you don't have anything to talk about, so you got to go get mad at somebody else so you can call them back up and tell your friend another thing that happened to you bad so you can talk to them. This thing just feeds on itself. And you don't even know what hit you. Till suddenly one day you turn around and you're like, you're taking over, man. It's my stuff. What is it? It's sin. Oh, no. I would have never let sin in my house. Well, sure you would. No. I just knocked and you opened the door. Oh, no. <laughs> no. No. It's my house now. No. Sin in my life. I don't. I want to be rid of sin. I don't want sin in my life. You put up with the gossip. No. Oh my God. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. I, don't put that stuff on. I have the control. No. I don't want to watch that. That's not what I want to watch. Come on. Put it on a 
church service. But your flesh does. No, I don't want to yield to my flesh. I don't want my flesh. Oh, God, I don't. Oh, oh, what do I do? What am I going to do? Oh, no, what am I going to do? I don't know what to do. Oh, Jesus. You don't oh, need this. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Oh, come on. Leave things alone. This is my house. I run things at my house. You gave me control. No. You gave me the key. No, I was just taking it over for myself. Jesus was demanding a little bit too much, so I took it over for me, not for you. Who do you think I am but the God of this world, the master of pride? When oh, you no. say I, you say me. Oh, my God. Oh, the pride. I forgot about that. I forgot about the pride. I forgot about the arrogance. I forgot about the things that that I just let gradually take over. Oh, my Jesus, my Jesus, my Jesus. How am I going to get rid of this guy? Stop How am I going to get rid of this guy? How am I going to get rid of this guy? I don't like that name. How am I going to get Jesus? Stop Jesus. Stop saying that name. Jesus. Oh, Jesus, come. Oh, Jesus, come. Oh, Jesus, come. Jesus. It's hot in here. Jesus. It's Jesus. Hot in here. Jesus. Something is changing once she welcomed me. It was just a little pride. It felt good to be esteemed. It was just a little gossip. And I brought in my lies. And now she doesn't like me here. <laughs> but it's my house now. Jesus! Jesus! Stop saying Jesus! that name. Stop saying that name. Jesus! Stop! Jesus! Stop! Jesus! Stop. Stop. Jesus! Uh, it's my house. Jesus! My stuff. Jesus! Uh, no. no. You get out of no. here! That's mine. It's here. You get it and you get out of here. Jesus! <sighs> Jesus! Jesus, come live in this house. Jesus! Jesus, take over this room. Jesus, I rebuke the pride. I rebuke the hatred. I give up the envy. I give up the strife. I don't want it no more. I don't want it oh, no more. Get pride. your pride and get out of here. Pride, envy, get hatred, your pride strife. and get One, out of here. Two, get your pride. Get your envy. Get your hatred. Get your jealousy. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get out of here. Pride, envy, hatred, jealousy. Got rid of those. Get this stuff out of here. Well, it's mine. I don't want nothing left of you. You brought it in. I didn't bring it in, and I'm getting rid of it. You brought it in here. I let you in. I didn't realize what I was doing, but now I see. Now I understand that when I opened the door, I gave you room for everything. Now yes, you get your junk. It is junk. It is emulation. Oh. Get emulation and get out of here. Oh. Get it and get out of here. Just a minute. Get back here and get this bag. Take that thing. Get here right now. You get that bag. You get that bag. You get yourself out of here. Get out of here in the name of Jesus. I don't want you. I don't want nothing you got. I don't want nothing you own. I don't want nothing you brought here. Get out of here, Satan. I'm Get coming. out of here. Get your bags. Get your bags. All There's right, one right. over there. Don't you leave it. You get it and get out of here. I'm not tolerating anything. I'm not tolerating anything. And by the way, here, take your toothbrush. Oh. Here, take your brush. Get out of this place in the name of Jesus! He 
get the road check and don't you come back. There's no room in this place for Satan. There's no room in this place for any of his vices. There's no room in this place for the works of the flesh. There's no room in this place for self-pity. There's no room in this house for envy. There's no room in this house for holding judgments against other people. I'm telling you, if you won't rid of the devil, there's only one name that'll do it. And there's only one way. And that is to get rid of him and tell him, don't you come back no more. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. Just a minute. You are not staying here. Lord Jesus, it's, it's empty. I pray right there's, now there's nothing in the here. name of Jesus, nothing here. I say you are now being evicted. In the name of Jesus, you get out of this place right now. You get out of this place. And you know, I forgot a little thing. You can't just leave it empty. God, fill it up. My Jesus, fill me up. Put peace in my house. Put joy in my house. Oh, Jesus, put love in my house. Hallelujah. I want the love of Jesus. I want the joy of Jesus. I want the peace of Jesus. I want you to fill me. You see, if you don't replace something instead of just emptying it out. Some of you get the devil cast out and you go home and he comes back with seven buddies. You know what you didn't do? You failed to recognize that you got to fill it up. you got to fill it up. And you know what's going to happen to you in this conference? You're going to fill up. Some of you have been tinkering with little things. You say, you know, I've got an addiction. I've got a habit that's got a hold of me. Addictions start little, but they grow. You've got to be willing to give it up. You say, well, I can't just break it. I can't just stop it. You can will to let it go. That's the first place you do. I always had trouble with forgiving people. It's a terrible thing for me to have to forgive people. You see, it was very hard to upset me. I'm not easily hurt. I have to know you didn't mean to do it. And then I have a hard time ever believing you won't do it again. You know, so it's really hard for me to just forgive and let it go. And I learned to start in with, I will to forgive. I will to forgive. I want to forgive so I can be forgiven. And you know, it wasn't long till God began speaking to me through his word. And God began to take me to the doorpost of the Old Testament where the masters were letting the slaves go free. And God began to give me a, a reference for forgiveness. As you stand at the door, God said, when you begin to watch the servant go down the road, you good slave that worked hard. The one that you paid good bucks for and they really produced good and it was great. When you see that person going down the road, God said, think about this. You were once a slave and I set you free. So when I see my slave starting to go free, you know what I do now? I say, God, I needed forgiveness and you forgave me. So I just take that same forgiveness and I just pass it out. And I just distribute it among the people who need it. You see, because I believe you're never going to need it, it's pride and arrogance. And people that can't forgive, it's because they think they would never do that to anybody. They think they would never be guilty of those kind of offenses. Because if you're ever going to need forgiveness, you want to give it, right? But if you ain't never going to need it, then why give it out? But I got news for you, you do need it. You let little things just come in, creep in, and then you don't know how to get rid of them. I'm here to tell you the Bible said in James 4 and 7, Submit yourself therefore to God, and then resist the devil, and he will flee from you. 
If you want to have real victory over the enemy, you can't just do it by getting the devils cast out or by casting the devil out of your life. You can't just do it by some little meager means. If you want real victory in your life, you've got to do it by letting your, ha your house be submitted to God. That's the first step. You want devil eviction to work in your house? Give yourself to God. You know what? The devil will not room with Jesus Christ. When he comes to the campus and finds out who his roommate is, he resigns. He goes home. I'm getting rid of these boots, folks. I keep the shirt. This is a new style. Don't ever kid yourself. You don't personally have power over the devil. All of the power of the works of the enemy is through Jesus Christ and what he did on the cross at Calvary. It's all legally done in the heavens. But if you will humble yourself under the mighty hand of God, he will let you use his name. Did you hear what I said? He gives you permission then to use his name. And in my name, he said, you can cast him out. In my name, he said, you can lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. In my name, you can do all of these things, but you cannot have power with God and allow little things to creep into your heart. Somebody said, well, I'd like to be used of God. Don't forget the word used is literal. You know, we get people that want to be used of God and we use them a little and they come complaining. You're just using me. Oh, give me a break. I thought that's what you said you wanted. You know, they want to do the work of the ministry, but they fail to realize work is spelled W-O-R-K. And that it's before ministry. You're going to do anything for God, you know. You've got to give your life to God. Some people can't even pay their tithes. And they want to go in full-time ministry. They can't even give God a tenth. You know, I challenge people who want to give God their, their lives to ministry, give Him one day's pay. If you're going to give up a day, you probably be able to give up a lifetime, right? Am I missing something? My calculation off? If you can't give him 24 hours, how are you going to give him seven days? You know how you can do that? People, when you get ready to go for God, you've got to get serious with God. You've got to mean business with God. If you just came here to play around this week, and you just came here thinking you was having a little shouting service, and you thought we was going to have a little dancing mode coming along here, and you thought we was going to tickle your innards, that's Mountain Dew that does that, not women's conference. tickle nothing, but if you get rid of the devil, I can guarantee you the joy of the Lord will tickle you from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. You ain't never felt good. Do you feel this good? Woo! I'm free. Hallelujah. I drink a little. Oh, Lord. I got to wrap my hands on myself and pray for myself. More, oh, Lord. Ha, 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 I don't do it too long, I'll be slain under the power. Hallelujah. Woo. Some of you ain't figured out how to bless yourself. Hallelujah. Bless her, Lord. Woo. More, Lord. Yes. Yes. That's it, sister. That's it. Yield to the Holy Ghost. Woo. You say, well, now that 
can't be. What do you think John did on the Isle of Patmos? He didn't have nobody to lay hands on him. How'd he get in the spirit? Who put their hand on his head? He probably said, in the name of Jesus. Next thing you know, he's on his face and there stands Jesus. You call for me? You sent for me? Yeah, I brought my band, if you don't mind. Out on the Isle of Patmos, he heard trumpets, a band come from somewhere. I told you he travels with a group, you know. He has his musical group too, Brownsville. When he showed up at the Isle of Patmos, he took the worship team. You want rid of the devil? Mean business with God. Don't play no games. That ain't no joke. It ain't a hoax. It ain't a put on. It's not a farce. It's for real. When you speak the name of Jesus, demons tremble and flee. When you give your heart to Jesus, he literally comes in to live with you and abide and dwell with you. Jesus is not an intruder. He is an invited guest and he will only come when you invite him. If you want him tonight, you can have him. Some of you are saying, I don't know how to get rid of some of the problems I've got. I want to tell you the way to start is to recognize they're there. That's the first step. You can't get rid of anything you don't know moved in. There's people, the devil's been living with them for a long time, and they don't even know he has a room there. I want to tell you something. The devil doesn't own this temple. Whose inscriptions own this temple? I'm made in the image of God not in the image of the devil. And I want you to know that when Jesus come to be the Lord of my life, he got it all. He got it all. If you just want to hang on to a few little things, then don't, don't mess your hair up, okay? Don't waste your high heel slippers on it. If you want to hang on to a few little pet grievances and a few little pet sins, you said, but you know how hurt I've been. <laughs> Too bad you ain't got a longer tongue. You could lick it off. <laughs> like some old dog laying around the church licking your wounds. And you don't know what they did to me. I got a pretty good idea by looking at you. <laughs> Look like they mauled you. I'm going to tell you something. You don't have a clue what you did to him. You don't have a clue what you did to him. He was wounded for your transgressions, bruised for your iniquities. The chastisement of your peace was upon him. And with his stripes, you are healed. You are, you are, you are. Raise your hands and say, I am. I am. I am. Now turn to your neighbor and say, I'm healed. Turn to the other side. You said, you hear me say I was healed? You ain't going home like you came. I say by the authority of God tonight, you ain't going home like you came. You ain't leaving here like you came. You ain't leaving here with the critters you brought in this place. They're going to be gone when you leave this place tonight. You've got new roof buddies coming up. Well, it's just, it's just our family temper. Yes, you're of your father, the devil. You want to get rid of it? Then change daddies. I love my father, God. He don't have any bad habits. He didn't pass on no junk to me. When Jesus come into my life, he brought 
his joy. He brought his peace. He brought the awesomeness of his presence. I want to tell you something. I wouldn't trade the presence of Jesus for a moment of pleasure. I wouldn't trade the presence of Jesus for a moment of reveling in the world. I wouldn't trade the pres- presence of Jesus for a little bit of self-pity on the side. I wouldn't take the presence of Jesus and trade it for a little personal pride and ego. I wouldn't trade the presence of Jesus for anything because I need Jesus. I can live without food. I can live a while without water. I can live without things, but I cannot live without Jesus. He is the Lord of my life. He is the strength that I need. He is the help that I run to. He is a shelter in a time of storm. He is a strong rock I stand on. He is my sure foundation. He is Jehovah, my provider. He's everything to me. He's my breath. And you can't go without breath. Well, why don't you all clap? Come, Holy Spirit, come. Do your work right now, Father. Do your work right now. My God, 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 my God. Yes! Well, excuse the sound effects. They just come with a package. Hallelujah. Oh, I'm telling you, when I feel something that powerful, I got to do something with it. There's an awesome anointing in this place tonight. There's an awesome anointing in this place tonight. There is deliverance in this house tonight. There is deliverance in this house tonight. There is deliverance in this house tonight. If you need deliverance, jump up right now. Jump up right now. Get your hands in the air. Get your hands in the air. Give it up, give it up, give it up, give it up, give it up. It's a stick up. It's a Holy Ghost stick up. Give it up. There are some women here that have suffered from post-abortion problems. I want you to come and gather right down here on this side. Quickly. Some of you never told nobody. This is the night the devil loses his power. This is the night the secrecy's broken. The secrecy's broken. Sister, God releases you from all shame and guilt from that. God releases you. Just go right over there and stand. You shake it up a ton of a soto. Yes, 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 yes. Rejoice with those that rejoice. Yes, they're getting free. They're getting free. They're getting free. Get your hands up. Turn it loose. Turn it loose. God's going to take it off of you. God's going to take it off of you. God's going to take it off of you. Yes. Yes. They're coming. They're still coming. Come running. Come on. Come running. Come running. The devil hates it. He's losing power. But Jesus loves it. He loves it. He's freeing you up. Quickly come with me, quickly come with me. Help me somebody. Yeah, Release her right now in the name of Jesus. Give it up, give it up, give it up, give it up. Yeah, Yes, 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 yes
Just release it, release it, release it, release it, release it, release it. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go in Jesus' name. Let it go in Jesus' name. Go in Jesus' name. Go in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. 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 Oh my God, hallelujah. Come on, praise the Lord. Come on, praise the Lord. There are women in this house that are suffering from addictions. You got drug addictions, you got sex addictions, you got cigarette addictions. You say, well, it's still sending me to hell. It may make you smell like you've been there. I don't think you ought to have to have something send you to hell before you want rid of it. If you're tired of the addiction, get up here, right here, right now. Run to this altar. Hurry up. Hurry up. God's in a hurry. God's in a hurry. God's in a hurry. Get over here right now. Get over here right now. Right now. Right now. You won't free, you're gonna be free. You won't free, you're gonna be free. Yes, 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 free, 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 free in the name of Jesus. Loose it, loose it, loose it. God, let it go. God, let it go. God, let it go. God, let it go. God, let it go in the name of Jesus. Sweetheart, God's going to set you free. You think you can't get free, but you're going to. God's going to take it. God's going to take it. God's going to take it. God's taking it. God's taking it. God's taking it. Let it go, sweetheart. Let it go. <clears throat> yes, that nicotine thing. Go in Jesus' name. Oh, oh, oh. In the name of Jesus. Go. Go. Speak to that thing in Jesus' name. Ah, you can't hold her. 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 You can't hold on to her. You can't do it. You can't do it. Oh, you can't hold on. No, 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 no. Let it go in Jesus' name. Let it go in Jesus' name. Let it go. Let it go in Jesus' name. Let it go in Jesus' name. Come on, lift your hands and rejoice. 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 Let it go in Jesus' name. Yes, free, 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 free. Woo! Lava. Lava satunde de baba. Ye baba 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 hashikahaya. Lubra mama. Paranamasuta. Come on, stand up close to him. You can't catch him back there. Ipaka shukataloma. Release it, Lord. Oh, let that sleep problem be cured. In the name of Jesus, let these addictions go in Jesus' name. 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 You got an addiction? Get your hand up. Lubramasuka Bahashakata. Gotcha. Hiasha Kotolobu Shaka. Gotcha. Harama Shada Rabako. Yiparamasuta. Let it go in Jesus' name. Go in Jesus' name. Let it go in Jesus' name. More in Jesus' name. Come on, give it up. Let it go in Jesus' name. Come here, sweetheart. In the name of Jesus, let it go. Lord, take away that self-destructive pattern she's in. Let it be broken in the name of Jesus. Give it up. Give it up. Give it up. More. More. Yes, come here, sweetheart. God's going to take it. God's going to take it. Oh, give me a hand, honey. Jesus is going to touch you. Heal in the name of Jesus. Heal by the power of God. Heal by the power of God. Give me a hand. Stretch it forth. In the name of Jesus, the power of God. Going right down your arm, right into your body. Let it come. Let it come in the name of Jesus. Let it come in the name of Jesus. 
God, let her be free. God, let her be free. My God, can you believe the women that need deliverance tonight? More in the name of Jesus. Let it come, honey. Let it come. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. The devil's told you you won't get healed. The devil's told you God won't do it for you. He's told you you're bound for life. God says it's a lie. The power of Jesus Christ is stronger than the power of hell. Forgiven, forgiven, forgiven. Release people. Release people. Forgive, 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 forgive. Forgive those people who hurt you. Forgive them, forgive them, forgive them, forgive them. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Let it go, sweetheart. Let it go from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. Let it go. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, let it go. In Jesus' name, be broken. In Jesus' name, be broken. Lift your hands and worship the Lord with me right now. Oh, come on, go with me into the holy of holies. Come on, let's go. Holy, 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 holy. Burl, will you do me a favor? Will you run over here and hit these people? Hallelujah. Let the anointing of God just go right down through that line right there. Hallelujah. Well. Don't be afraid. You could stay on the floor. If somebody falls on top of you, just wiggle out from under them and stay right there. It won't kill you. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. People, that's been some major touches tonight from God. That's been some major, major things. Kashaka, 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 kashaka. If you know tonight that God delivered you from an addiction, I want you to come up and tell my sister right here. Come up and tell her right there. If you know, you flat know God's delivered you. You feel it, you felt it break, you felt it go. You don't have to wait to get home to see if you're going to have another cigarette. Just speak it. I guarantee you, you don't buy any, you won't smoke any. You know what I mean? Deliverance. Deliverance has come to this house tonight. Deliverance has come to this house tonight. Deliverance is in this house tonight. some pastor's wives in this house tonight that have been viciously attacked and wounded. In fact, there's one lady here that hadn't just been spit up by one church. You've been spit out by three. You've been chewed up and spit out by three different churches. I don't know who you are, but God knows who you are in this house tonight. I want you to get up here right now. The others of you that hadn't had three churches, but you've been mortally wounded nearly by those people. I want you to get up here right now. You say, but I can't come there with me. I don't care. Come on. They need to know they're doing it. Quit covering up for them. Quit covering up your pain. Come on. Come on right now. Be bold. In the name of Jesus, step up. Here they come. Here they come. They're coming, girls. They're coming. Keep rejoicing in the Lord. Keep rejoicing in the Lord. Keep rejoicing in the Lord. Come on, pastors, wives. Come on, you know who you are. Who is it's been spit up at three churches? Where's she at? Where's the one that's had three churches? They got their hands up. I don't know who, who they are. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Over here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. There she is right there. Come here, sweetheart. I'm going to pray for you. Come here. Oh, Lama Shatalada. Come here, sweetheart. Come here. You say, well, I don't want to. You know, they're probably around here, but I don't care. Come on. Come on. Jesus loves you, and they know they's mean to you. They've been feeling bad about it anyway. Put your head over on my shoulder. God, take the antidote you put in my body and let it be transferred to my sister tonight. God, take all the years of pain. Jesus, Jesus. Now, you may not be able to forgive them, sweetheart, but just will to do it. Just say, Jesus, I will. I will to forgive. Now, you come in and make my life better now. I want your presence. If I got your presence, Lord, I can pastor again. God, I said I never wanted to do it again. Oh, yeah. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Woo. Ha, 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 ha. Whoa. Ha, ha. Mm. Oh, Lord. He said he would give you beauty for ashes and the, oh, the joy of the Lord for morning. And the garment of prayer. For the spirit of heaviness. Oh, Jesus. 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 Lift your hands now and turn it loose. God, in the name of Jesus, we give it up. Give it up. Lebasata. You don't have to die for the people, sweetheart. Jesus did. Hallelujah. He's the only sacrifice they need. Oh, hallelujah. He's the only sacrifice they need. You don't have to be a martyr. Oh, no, 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 no. Let it come. Let the Holy Ghost come over you. Woo! Don't be afraid of him. Don't be afraid of him. Just let him come. Woo! Don't walk out of it. Just let it come. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The sweetness of Jesus is coming right now over your head. Just let it fall. Woo! Woo! <laughs> you! Whoa. Well, let's just have a little pastor's wife's line come across the platform tonight. I want to put a fire tunnel on the platform. Sister Kilpatrick, Sister Bev, Sister Lila, come on, you girls. Come here quickly. And let's move this table. We're going to put a fire tunnel up here, and we're going to take the pastor's wife through it. Hallelujah. It's going right through here. One on each side. Holding hands. Put your hands together and make a tunnel. Come on, girls. Come on, Sister Bab. Come on, Sister Pastor's wife here. Come on. No, I want them up here. You thought we was joking, didn't you? Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Come on. Get you. Come over here, Bev. Come over here, you girls. Make a tunnel. Bring them up. Got to have one more to make a tunnel with her. Come on. Come on. I can't have the... There we go. Go right through. Go right through. Yeah, come on. Hallelujah. 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 Woo! Come get them, guys. Come get them. Drag them off. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come get them, guys. Hallelujah. Come get them, guys. Yeah, we got them. Yes, 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 yes. Woo! Yes! 
Yes, 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 come on, somebody say yes, 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 woo, glory, woo, Jesus set me free. Sing it. 
church. You look around and get the one you know. Don't ever manifest nothing. Send them forth. Send them up here. Here they come. They're bringing them. Come on, here they come. Woo! Oh, glory! Oh, glory! God, take his heart, Case. Woo! Oh, let the glory of God come over her. Jesus, let your glory come over her. Woo! There it is, honey. There it is. Let it come. Woo! Yeah! Come on, give me number two. Woo! Where you at, honey? Come on there. Come on, get your hands up. Right now! Yes, come on, go on, go on, go on. Woo! Number three. If you have number three, would you please step forward? Right over here, number three. Woo! Right there, sweetheart. Give me a hand. Live a shaka tadababo. Woo! Shataboko. Don't fight it, just let it come. Just let it come. Woo! It may feel like dizzy, but it ain't. Ooh, it's the Holy Ghost. Jesus. Jesus. Lord, heal her family while you're at it. Lima to go shut up. Heal her family while you're at it, Lord. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You see some of those relationship things you've been struggling with. God's going to take care of it. so blessed. God's going to take care of it. Let us fall in his arms and let hold it. Lima to go shut up. Get out of your head and your heart. Right now, in the name of Jesus, God, come. Just receive, sweetheart. Just receive. It's easy. Just let it come. Just let it come. There it is, right there. Let it come. I don't think I've seen it in the booty. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's all over here. Just let it come. Woo! Shaka la need on the masala da cha.
voted the most unlikely. Can I see your hand? Okay. Every woman in this building, put your hand toward this side, this side, and this side. You that are sitting back there in the pew full of faith. I want you to join hands on this side. Holy Ghost is tangible. I'm going to throw it to you like a ball. And it's up to you to catch it. You're going to catch it. You're going to catch it. Some of you is already getting it. Right now, in the name of Jesus, touch them. There it goes. There it goes. That's going. Yes. Yes. It's coming over here. Get your hands up. Hold hands. Take hold of the hand of your neighbor. I'm tossing it to you in the name of Jesus. And the ones of you that can are going to get it. In the name of Jesus. Woo. There it goes. Let it go. It's about to go down the middle aisle. Join hands with your neighbor there. In the name of Jesus, let it go. Don't worry about it. You didn't kill yourself. You're okay. You know, my shutter. Don't be afraid, just lay on the floor and soak it up. We believe in carpet sniffers. You say, well, you know, do I have to fall on the floor? No, but it's a whole lot better than falling on the pew or falling over somebody else. Just, just give it up. You don't have to lay down for surgery either. It just seems to be preferred among most people. You can stand up and let them do a root canal on you if you want to. But I kind of like the laid back feeling. Don't get all hung up in what position you're in. Get hung up in what God's doing on the inside of you. Now, to the rest of you, it's a piece of cake. You already know how to receive from God. Take the hand of your neighbor. Come here, girls, and help me. We're going to release the anointing of God in this place. We're just going to throw it out there. We're going to throw it over here first. We're going to throw it to this section first. And then count of three... In the name of Jesus, one, two, three, yes! Let it go! Yes! We're going to throw it again because it hit the people in front of you and it didn't get to her to the back. We're going to toss it over their heads now. Here we go. One, two, three. Yes, Lord! In the name of Jesus! Oh, can you believe it? Can you believe yes. what the Lord has done? This section has right here. One, two, three. In the name of Jesus! Back section of this middle aisle. Can you in the name of Jesus. The one, two, three. Yes! Yes! Let it go! Let it go! Set my feet up in the name of Jesus. One, two, three. Let it go! Yes!
secrets tonight. All you got to do to get rid of the devil is say what? What? What was that name? Well, there ain't a devil in a million miles. Woo, glory. Look at your neighbor on your right side and say, we had a meeting tonight. and say, I've been delivered. Put that person in front of you and say, did you get delivered? Now raise both hands and shout to God with the voice of triumph. Hold it. 